I have to the um, <clears throat> a brownie in English and Scottish folklore is a small industrious fairy or hobgoblin believed to inhabit houses and barns and are rarely seen, often heard at night time. Anyhow, this um, <coughs> brownie here is derived from the book, The Brownies, written by Palmer Cox. Um, and it was used in a lot of American figurals. Um, the book was circa 1887, so this would be circa 1890, I guess. So you see the brownie here cast in what we now call pewter, it was mainly tin, uh, with some bit of copper to make it hard, a hard white metal. And this is a um, figural fur, fur uh, monitor. I think it was made for that. There, I've seen some other ones like this, same sort of design. Made by Pearpoint Manor Manufacturing Company. Um, it actually still, still works. Um, it could have also been made as a napkin ring, but I think this bit at the back here makes me think that's not the case because you want to put the napkin through here and not have this see interfering all the time. It's cast in, all the components are cast in sand, they're very detailed um, and uh, hand soldered. So, um, not a good camera for focusing, but um, it's actually the detail is amazing. It's totally amazing. Even the even the acorn and the leaf at the top there. Okay, it's amazing. So anyhow, this was made by Pierpoint, and it has a number, which I'm trying to read. Go the right way. Looks to be five six one zero, five six one zero, and it's got the maker's stamp there. Which I'm pretty certain is Pierpoint Manufacturing Company in Bedford, USA. So there you go. This is a very rare item. Uh, much rarer than a napkin ring or a toothpick holder um, and having this character uh, will probably make it worth close to two thousand dollars USA I would say two thousand dollars